Hey you guys, welcome back. So we're back with Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga with a new song, Die With A Smile. Live performance. I didn't expect to see live performance so quickly from them with this song, as I didn't expect their collaboration in general, to be honest. But ever since I've reacted to this song, I have been listening to it quite a lot and I really enjoy this song. I love the vocals, I love the combination, I love the blend of theirs, I love the style, I love that they both have an input on this song, they both have like taken participation in the creation of this song, so it feels like a full body of work from both sides. So I can't wait to hear how their chemistry was in the stage live, how they're gonna deliver it, because they both are amazing vocalists, so yeah, maybe without further ado, let's right into it. Of course, this on a screen. Okay, this is gonna be a treat. And live, live vocals. Okay, before we go in the chorus part, live vocals, love that. Also, it's probably his first live performance in a really long time, unless I've been living really under the rock, but I think this is like one of his first, right? Performances coming back, and I mean, I love it. His voice is probably one of the best male voices, like in a mainstream limelight, that has lived in a really, really long time, and that we are living in the presence of. because. There's a lot of like dudes who can sing, but they cannot sing like him. Like he can deliver. He has that range and he has that power and emotion and everything. Like he's a full package artist when it comes to the voice. So it's treat to hear him live. <laughs> The screen goes slower, like the visual goes slower than the vocals, so I think it's probably like some difficulty with like combining the one together so it like syncs up, but yeah, I mean the power, you can see he delivers. <laughs> that Gaga is just feeling it as well. Live, you guys, that is live. They really are doing it live, and this kind of, even when she starts to sing, it kind of reminds me of her role in Star is Born, because it's so unusual to see her like this, singing songs like this, because we know she have some, she has some crazy songs back in the day for her to come out, and everything is like more on dancey type of side on the pop. And this is like ballad, and she doesn't really do ballads on her own like career as Lady Gaga. But this with Bruno is such a treat for us to hear, I think, outside of acting or anything, to be a part of such a cool collaboration. Their blend is just stunning, like they can deliver, I never thought that they would, I mean because I never really thought that they would ever sing together, this was not a collaboration in my cards in my future, I'd be like yeah, Bruno and Gaga's collaboration would be incredible, never thought about it, never thought of them in the same 
song together but again this is a collaboration we never knew we needed because they are going off like they're going off and i also noticed gaga's shoes with that point up that's such a cool shoe she's not doing anything crazy but even with outfit like she brings some something of gaga you know in there song like I think well first of all really cute moment I think they have found each other as really strong power voices and they can really go against each other they're standing against it not even looking at audience nothing they just go at each other with their locking their eyes and like when these punchy lines come out and they just go back with the mic stands and everything with the the poses that they do i think they found each other match when they can really deliver and they don't need to be scared and they will overpower each other because they're kind of on the same like power level but it comes with the volume and it comes out and the strength and that kind of aggression and sass in it it's stunning <laughs> guys i probably shouldn't say anything about it but like the difference in their height is crazy and i never thought about bruno mars being like a shorter but like it's crazy when you see someone next to like uh, of course she's wearing like high like high heel shoes but she's short herself so it's mad to see it's mad to see and the the fact that they both have this insane voices in these small bodies kind of in a way and they can produce these insane sounds is i think even more impressive because it's not like some huge huge people who have assumed they have the voices to hold the ground but sometimes like people who are smaller are more capable than the bigger ones <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice it just I don't know <laughs> like she hasn't been really on the like stage as well for a while I feel like in a way I feel like we are wait we are looking at big big return for both of them. What a combo. There's so many people as well. Okay, you guys, first of all, and the first first reaction that I did of this song, uh, I said that it's prob like Lady Gaga's song and Bruno Mars singed on it. But apparently it's other way around. But Lady Gaga has wrote on the song as well as a partner in like creation of this song. So, but the song itself is Bruno's song, which makes so much more sense. Cause I was like, how this sound is so like different from what we have heard from LG7 that the snippets that she has played to the fans. Cause that is so pop and electronic and dance. And this is so old school, pulled back ballad and they're full on in a character i mean they kind of are playing a characters in a way but vocally i feel like they're delivering and finally kind of being on a stage with equal with each other that they are not scared of just going forward but they can and they I, it looked like they enjoy it that they are finally like yes i can be on the stage and just rip the shreds everything it's not like 
they can sing on their own when they go for it but when there is especially like a duo and they can sustain each other and know that they will not fall behind they don't have to be scared they will overpower anything that they will be equals emotionally and physically with their voices and presence on the stage anyways i really really enjoyed this song i really like it i love how they made this live performance so soon after the release of the music video and the song itself and uh, that bruno has asked her to join on the stage as so at, at least it looked like it at the end that and Gaga said thank you to everyone running around the stage and probably left the stage and Bruno stayed. But let me know in the comments down below. I may be completely wrong because I have no idea. But yeah, one of my favorite songs I think this year that has come out. And uh, I mean the collaboration we never knew we needed. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this duo, the collaboration of the song, of the live performance, of the look, of the completely different look from the music video. Ch Gaga just kept the hair and everything else is different. But still that old school vibe to it. Anyways, you'll stop yapping around and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!